remove the axle bolt, activate the parking brakes, install wheel chokes, use uh, a prying tool to remove the wheel decorative cover, use a breaker bar with a hexagonal bit. The original bolt is a 17 mm. The replacement bolt is a 19 mm. Loosen only 90 degrees. <laughs> to place my car on jack stands, this is what I do. First of all, I use this kind of wood stand to jack up one side of the car. Then I use a floor jack with a flat piece of wood to jack up the front subframe, which will lift both sides of the car. Then I place the jack stands and I lower the car onto them. Really, nigga? There you go. Here. And here. To easily remove your wheel, use these two tools available inside the toolkit inside your trunk. This is the wheel hanger and this is the bolt removal tool. Remove the top bolt. Install the wheel hanger. Remove the other bolts. And remove the wheel. Easy peasy. After loosening the bolt on the ground, jack up the front of the car, remove the wheel, have somebody apply the brakes, or use a dumbbell, like I'm doing it right now. Install the wheel bolts, hand tighten, and then remove the bolt. The axle inner bolts are 10 mm triple squares. To be able to remove them without having to remove the heat shield, this is what I do. With both wheels off the ground, I am able to spin the axle by turning the brake disc. So I turn the brake disc to position the bolt at the bottom. I place this screwdriver to block the axle from spinning. Then from under the car, uh, I loosen the bolt. Let's have a look. This is it. All right, let's do this. Uh, uh, bolt loosened. Easy peasy. I do the same for all other bolts. Really, nigga?
you can remove the axle without having to remove any suspension component. I just turned the wheel inward. Let's try this. Nope, nope. Here are the boards you need to remove to be able to take out the axle shaft. 117 mm or 19 mm hexagonal bolt. 6 10 mm triple square bolts. 3 6 mm hexagonal bolts. These bolts are holding the heat shield in place. These bolts are holding the back of the axle shaft. And this bolt is holding the front of the axle shaft. Really, nigga? So, this is what is this is a circle clip that is that is holding the the end of the axle. So you have to. Make sure to to hit the inner the inner ring here, this one, to help push the end of the circle clip. I just installed back the outer CV joint. After cleaning everything, you slide on the CV boot with uh, the the inner clamp. Then you replace the circle clip. Then you put grease, 70 grams of the grease inside this outer joint. You install the old bolt on it, and then you tap it on with this plastic hammer. After the circle clip engages, you put uh, 50 grams of the grease in here, the rest of the grease in there, and then you install the outer uh, clamp, and then you clamp everything back. This is the part number of the replacement kit. You have to install a new bolt. This is the old stuff. Where's the circle? Oh, right here. <laughs> Brakes applied. New bolt. First, I'm going to tighten the bolt to 200 Newton meters. Wow! The brakes applied.
Next, I'm gonna put on the wheels. Then I'm gonna lower the car to the ground and torque it to 180 degrees. Really, nigga? Son, where'd you find this?